All right, this is a, a trade in which I took uh, yesterday. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look on the hourly chart. This is daily. Um, taking a look at it, uh, if you look at these triangles, this is basically a, a Gartley. Um, it starts from the X. Let me just show you for an example of what I'm talking about. Um, this is uh, this is a Gartley, a bearish Gartley. It starts at the point X, goes down to A, up to B, down to C, and up to D. D is where you take the trade and you, you sell right here. And what I do is when it goes up to point D, I sell at point D and I take my profit at point B. And what I've been experiencing before, if I do it this way, it's pre basically automatic. Uh, sometimes I even take my profit at point C as well. So let's go back to the chart. All right, this is basically what I'm talking about right here. Um, price comes down from X, goes down to A, up to B, down to C, and up to D. Okay, we noticed that it overshot D just a little bit, but that's okay. It does that every once in a while. All right, these garlic patterns are not always perfect. Um, I took my trade, and of course, price went up north. Uh, took a little drawdown and of course you see what it did I'm just going and put some lines in here uh, this is where I ended the trade at this line right here um, let me just take a look at what I did let's see here according to this I entered the trade at 88.88254 so 0.88254 so I actually Got in a eight two two five four. This two five three. That's close enough. And of course, um, sitting right here, it actually got out at eight seven nine six two. Let me just go and draw me another line. Eight seven nine six two nine six two. We'll go with. We'll do six zero, that's close enough. Or six seven. Alright. Now let's go back to the chart, take a look. Okay, let's see. Alright. So pretty much what I did was like so this is a Gartley, it went down to uh point A, up to B, down to C and of course up to D and uh, if you look right here you see these two lines right here uh, I actually drew like a trend line and what I usually do is uh, I don't trade this pattern until that trend line breaks when the trend line breaks that's when I look to enter the trade of course I entered just a little too soon I actually took a little drawdown and uh, a lot of inexperienced traders will get kind of nervous when their margin account going to the negative and of course it turned right back around and it went south and it cashed out at uh, 87962 let's just go and look at a different chart probably a 30 minute you probably see it better 30 minute chart okay this is exactly what happened right here um, you can see the trend line so I, I basically I drew a channel I connected the um, the bottom candlesticks and I connected the uh, the top of the candlesticks as well and it made a nice little channel and of course you see how the channel sort of gets narrow I'm just go to 15 minute chart okay we can probably see it better on this one okay okay alright so you basically see it better okay this is um this is the trend line and of course this is the trend line I, I made a channel out of it I actually connected the uh, the tops and of course the bottoms and it went up and of course ventured out of the uh, out of the trend line uh, as soon as it as soon as it exited the, uh, the trend line I entered the trade and of course you see it went up it went up and it, it of course caused my margin to go into the negative but at the same time it turned around and it came back down I basically got into this trade a little early because I had to go to work and uh, 
you know, like I said, those things happen. I, I, I knew from experience what was going to happen uh, anyway. Um, so that's pretty much how, how this thing went down. Uh, just to give you an idea of how to, uh, you know, trade a garlic pattern. Um, also, uh, I guess while we're talking about it, this is show me the money. On this account, if you if you know this, uh, actually uh, actually made pretty much made nothing but winning trades on this one. Um, you know, from five grand, four thousand, twenty nine. This is actually a broke even trade. I actually had to uh, wait to get out of this particular trade. Um, cash out on this one. Um, this one right here, that's a council trade. Um, of course, not to mention the last one that I that I made last night was like four thousand three hundred sixty-three three sixteen, four thousand three hundred sixteen dollars. So, um, I see so far so good. I had uh, nothing but uh, winning trades, and the profit loss is uh, twenty-five eight uh, one fourteen. Let me just take a look, take a peep. Um, let's see, accessories, calculator. Okay, if you actually do the uh, do the math, the twenty five eight one four divided by five zero one two three, uh, that's a that's a fifty one percent profit, which is very good, uh, considering. Uh, let's see, my first trade was actually uh, let's see March the twenty third, and this is April the eleventh, so we we're basically talking not even a month. And of course, I'm already doubled my account, and you know these things are possible with the forex. But also, please keep in mind, you know, you must use the right amount of leverage and and set your stops and and everything else. So, um, so basically, that's about it. You know, just you know, this is how we do the uh, the Gartley trade, or how I do it. Everybody has their own little thing. There you go. Give it again. And try it again. Gartley trade. Up, down, up, down. As a matter of fact, uh, just so that you know, um, I actually, uh, one of the trades were, I knew this was coming down. When this came down, I actually took, took a trade right in here somewhere. And it traveled upward. And of course, I ended up getting out early okay you can actually do that um, and of course I did it too you know um, but I basically I got out early so I took two trades in this pattern one is when it came back up and the other one when it reached uh, point D and came down to uh, point B so I hope you learned something from this and uh, have a good evening goodbye